I'm uh, Emilio Bizzi. I'm an Institute Professor at MIT and a member of the McGovern Institute as well as the Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences. So there are two big questions that need to be solved. One is how do we learn new motor tasks and how do we generalize what we learn to the number of varied circumstances in which we have to perform a newly learned task. The other problem is any small or simple motor act involves simultaneous activation of a very large number of muscles. For instance, if I'm standing and I'm reaching for an object, there'll be activation of muscles in the leg, in the trunk, in the arm, in the eyes. Every time we make a very simple movement, we have the activation of thousands of elements. Well, that's a big computational problem. And this is the problem that has been central to my scientific interest. We have identified in the spinal cord groups of interneurons. The activity of these interneurons specifies the activation of a group of muscles as a unit. And when that particular functional unit is activated, it generates simultaneous activation of a group of muscles and that group of muscle is the module. It is the combination of these various modules that leads to a meaningful action. In a sense, this is analogous to language, where with a limited number of letters, you can construct an infinite number of words and sentences. There are 700,000 strokes per year in the United States alone. Then you have, of course, the head injuries to the motor areas, which essentially generate the same impairment of the motor system. I must say that the rehabilitation process is quite primitive. People are asked to perform certain movements repetitively uh, with the hope that that will generate some sort of improvement. But there is no good theory guiding this process. So it's very important to be able to uh, speed up, if possible, the process of rehabilitation by uh, changing uh, and approaching it in a more principled way. Our work on modularity has led us to identify these modules in patients as well as normal subjects. What we have seen in these patients is that the modules are present also in the affected arm. The modules are there. What is missing is the right combination of the modules and the weight of activation because the way in which the movements are produced effectively is combining the modules and then give each module the proper balance of activation. We want to utilize this knowledge about the modules by tracking the development of combination of modules throughout the rehabilitation process. That's one, one thing that we want to do. The other thing that we want to do is it's clear that there are certain modules that seem to be more affected than others. And so by focusing on those modules, we hope to speed up the process of rehabilitation.